So now after having done this the bare metal way, let's um, use actual libraries which are made for this. Um, so PsychoPy and Experiment. Um, PsychoPy is an all-in-one solution and is responsible not only for stimulus representation, but also for recording, communication with devices, collecting pre-processing data, experiment design, and so on. Um, I only want to show the GUI elements at first, and also we're going to ignore the um, builder interface. Note that PsychoPy comes with, with its own integrated development um, environment. So this one where we can code just as well. We also have a Python shell here next to the builder interface. Um, but I only want to show you the stuff um, which you can run in our favorite IDE, which is Jupyter Lab. Okay, let's uh, change directory to the PsychoPy directory. And let's look at it in PsychoPy. Um, do not run any PsychoPy code from inside Jupyter. You won't be able to kill the appearing windows otherwise, which is why I have this line here, which makes sure that it can only run inside, um, cannot run inside Jupyter. So if I do it like this, I'm simply getting the assertion error. If I simply run the file, I won't because there this file exists. Okay, so how do we do this in PsychoPy? Well, we have to import visual from PsychoPy. And then we can simply create a visual.window where we specify the size, the monitor object, which units we want to use, and the background color, which we're going to set to yellow here. And then well, we simply create visual stimuli, for example, this grating stimulus, where we have to specify onto which window we want to um, put that size, position, uh, and color, and the special frequency. And then once we run this, it looks like this. So we see it also uses Pygame as its backend, and we see nothing. Why do we see nothing? Well, PsychoPy bases, at least on my machine, on Pygame. Um, so the concept of front and back buffers exists as well, and we have to switch the buffers. So we have to call myWin.flip. And also we have to actually draw the stimuli which we create. So once we do this, we see this here is the big rating stimulus and this is the small one which we had. So basically the same as in Pygame, um, just that you use the respective elements from PsychoPy. We also have user input and there are two ways to get input from the user, which is first of all the wait keys function, which works similarly to what I showed you earlier. Um, and there's also the concept of global keys, which can be used to execute a function whenever they are pressed, no matter where you are. So for global keys, you have to register them basically. So we import psychopy.event and also core, and we register the global key that as soon as the user presses escape, we're gonna run the function core.quit. So if at any time the user presses escape, this is the function uh, we want to execute. So we could also write our own function lambda colon print hello and then every time the user would press escape it would print hello doesn't make much sense but quitting makes sense yes and then we're drawing our stimuli and flipping again and we're waiting for any key so without arguments this waits for any key press alternatively we could specify which keys to look for with a list just like our wait key function and yes then once we did that we flip the display so that it's empty again, and then we wait for a second keystroke. So now we will see the stimuli. Once we press any key, we won't see the stimuli anymore. And then once we press the key again, we're going to exit. Stimuli, no stimuli, exit. And if I pressed escape at any time, we would have exited right away. As much for showing simple stimuli with um, PsychoPy, I'm going to show you more complex ones later.